So first, let's check out some code that I've already written using the string compare function. Here, I'm collecting a user input, and I'm looking for the user to tell me yes or no. Do they like coffee? Yes. Do they like coffee? No. So I have a while loop preventing my user from proceeding any further forward in my code before they answer yes or no. In this case, I used string compare, strcmp, without an I on the end. This one is case sensitive. That's why it's stopping my user even when they say yes or no if they have different capitalization. They have to have all lowercase in this scenario. So a lot of times that would get really annoying for a user. So we would probably want to use string compare with an I in this instance, and that way I'm comparing the strings, but I don't care about the cases. So I'm not making it case sensitive. So this is a scenario where I'm comparing two strings. I'm only looking at one word and comparing it to another word. I want to make sure they're exactly the same. Or in this case, I have a Boolean operator not in front of it to do the opposite and see when they're not the same. So one question you may have is, does it matter the order that I put those two words? No, it does not. And also, you might be wondering, can I use this to look at an entire list of strings and look for one word within an entire list? Um, yes, you can. So you can be comparing a whole list of words to a single word. And that one, the order does not matter either. So you'll notice when I'm running the code in the command window that I'm always getting ones and zeros. What those are are logical data saying true and false. So that's going to be the result of any time I use string compare, it's going to just be a logical value of either true, false, true ones, false zero. Again, these functions are extremely useful anytime that you're wanting to compare a user input or some data you've collected or anything to one particular string. And keep in mind, they're going to be exact. So if I say nope, that's not going to be the same thing as no. So string compare is good as long as you're looking for one particular word that's exactly the same, which sometimes you might not be. So I'll talk about some other string functions for that too.